Hello! How goes it, folks? Hey, Kamikaze, how's it going? can do this. MVP, let's go. Hey, Chicago. Hey, these are Gundams. These are Gundams, not turtles. How's it going, Chicago? Seth, Kamikaze. Ah, they didn't close my door. Alright, that's maxed out. Alright, so I need a bit more. need to start doing this one. Got one more support ticket. Hopefully we can get this done. God, I need to go into... the clubbing area. Gonna have to reduce the music. That's a lot of stuff. I humbly accept. Jamala! I'm doing good, buddy. I'm doing good. I'm guessing I missed out on that box. Well, I wouldn't say so much as missed out. There was 120 pulls. Hey, Chicago, Snowy. Uh, not too bad, Chicago. Just uh, up to video before going live. Time to do my weekly stuff in the world of Tower. 
on a Monday. Get some stuff cleared. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Password chest? Boo. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. Password chest. Uh, let's hand that in because we're never doing that one. Take that. Let me just close the door because the kids left my door open. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're good. You need like 500 of those chest openings? Why? Why do you need 500? Someone else should be able... Someone must be looking for that game mode. Alright. Let's see. What's our dailies for today? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Lovely. That's two of them done already. That's what we like to see. That's what dreams are made of. I've never had all four of them appear. I need to play Mahjong. I don't know how to play Mahjong. But I need to win a round of Mahjong. If we go back here, should be my standard daily is almost done. And then we go to our weeklies. Let's go. Downloading Waifu Sim, that's what I like to hear. Just don't tell T800. Uh, T800 won't, won't take kindly. Hey, Brendan, how's it going? You'll keep quiet. You're going to post it all over Discord. <laughs> I expect nothing less. Alright, that's these done. Let's... <laughs> Playing Avatar? What do you think of Avatar? Today seems not too bad. What do you think of Avatar? Oh no! Oh. Which currency do I have the least of? Is your Vaultville? 
And I'm probably going to still open them in this area. Not that we need them anymore, but, you know. I've honestly been playing a lot of uh, Final Fantasy 16 and 14. Dawn Trail is around the corner. So, I took a healthy break. Now I need to get caught up. <sighs> Such is the way with game development these days. It's just a little something. Don't take it to heart. Release the game broken, incomplete, spend six months fixing it, and then say, hey, it's fixed now. Yay. That is game development in a nutshell. Just look at Dragon's Dogma 2. That game is broken in so many ways. And no one is complaining. No one's moaning about the bugs, the glitches, the jankiness, nothing. Kamikaze, we know it wasn't by accident. You don't need to lie to anyone. We know that aim assist was on for team kills. Man, I've heard Shattered Space is going back uh, to 2025. Brick, I think it's partially deserved, but they're not review bombing it for the bugs. They're review bombing it for the microtransaction store. Oh, there is no blue chests. Well, that wasn't a bug, that was a feature. That was a bug that benefited, you know, gamers. <laughs> you know, Shiki? <laughs> when a bug benefits you in a good way like that, that's called a feature. It's not a bug. Those ones get fixed real quick. It's the ones that actually don't benefit the player. They don't get fixed forever. <laughs> but I'm not wrong, right? If it benefits the player, that shit gets fixed like instantly. There's no remorse. That's like fixed ASAP. But if it doesn't benefit the player, eh, who cares? Can stay in there for a year for a week, eh? Hell, there's bugs in Destiny 2 that have been there since launch. But because it doesn't benefit... Because it uh, doesn't benefit the player, they don't fix it. My dude, man, I cannot find any chests. Like, this is crazy. Where's all the chests gone? Uh, Seth, it's not acceptable. 
By the way, for those thinking I'm going crazy, I'm dual streaming to Twitch and YouTube. But no, it's not acceptable, dude. It, it never has been acceptable. That's two? It sure does, Snowy. It sure does. Today seems not too bad. And there's number four there. Let's see if I can get lucky and get my six one out the way. Hey, Chicago, thank you for that Twitch follow. I appreciate you. All right, thinking we can jump into a void rift real quick after this. Anyone interested in a void rift before I die? So, UG is, GU is uh, confirmed, coming in 3.8. And I do not like the, the outfit that she's got. I think it does not suit her at all. It cancelled my thing. Only a level two. Yeah, attack me, attack me. I will take pole position, thank you very much. Uh, if you try to do it late at night, it pretty much is RNG, but if you try to do it during the day, it's uh, actually quite easy. All right, let me just uh, stop Pete Fink's trying to murder me here. Because I need to reset my... Uh... Stop trying to murder me. Don't attack... Killing everything. All right. Let's create the team. You're going to go in with a brick wall? Jesus. Couldn't even say it properly. Brick, are you going with a brick wall or are you going with something else? I also need someone to let me win at Mahjong. 
I'm okay losing too. Just need to get that requirement, that task out the way. Yeah, I'm gonna guess no one else is wanting to do anything. And let's level up the core because that's the next strongest thing. Yeah, so I need to do this one here, which requires to win a game of Mahjong. And this one here, which is at the nightclub. So I probably need to do that before it closes. And the sweepstakes. Need to do two void risks, so we can jump in now. Clear that. Let's uh, clean that. Oh, clean that. Time for some uh, and a crew. Eh. You know what? I'm going to get rid of you. And I'm going to begrudgingly do a wormhole. What am I doing? Uh, void Rift. Go. Match is fine. So, a little update from me on this channel. I've been thinking about what to do with it, seeing as uh, I don't play on CN. I'm probably going to do a few tough videos every now and then. I'm probably, I'm still going to stream on Mondays, so that's not going to change. But you will probably start to see some stuff on this channel that is not tough related as well, just as a heads up. Why did Katana come here, of all the places? I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to do fully, but I'll still be here Mondays for sure. But I thought about starting on CN. I just don't have the time. What's people's thoughts on that? Now it won't be burnout. Um I do like Brevi's dance. Uh it's more going to be Jamala. I'm splitting the load between the channels instead of... There's certain content that just doesn't do well on my other channel. That historically has done well on this channel. Like my Elden Ring videos, for example. If I wanted to make any Helldivers videos, they would do a lot better over here than they would over there. They're just a different audience. Uh, Junite Abyss is one I'm definitely looking at. For anyone that hasn't seen it, it looks really cool and it's uh, almost like a Warframe gacha.
Uh, Fenrir has been power crept now. She's still decent. And it won't cost you anything really now to max star her. Because she's in the standard banner. But um, she has been power crept. But you'll get more life out of her. Uh, more usage out of her, I should say. If you do decide to max it out. But there are just better uh, vault characters out there. But if that's all you've got right now, go for it. And the next vault character that's coming is Ray from the collaboration. She's a bow user, so if you don't like bow characters, then the next one that you're looking to get is going to be in 4.0, which is some time away. So maxing her out would probably give you a little more mileage until then because she still has that defense shred right uh, okay let's go to eva So that's done. Is everything complete? Yeah. That's done. Because of the angel's invasion, Miroria is buzzing with all kinds of rumors. Okay. Miroria security forces assigned you to inspect areas in Miroria with potential security. Okay, that's fine. Open five password chests. No! Clear a joint operation. Kill 30 overworld oh, enemies. What do we have here? Cook. Uh, aha! Frontier Clash. That's good. We're doing that next. Brick, do you want to go kill Sobek? No! Void Rift! No again! Uh, I'm just going to have to wait until next week again. Fawn in my side. Raid we're going to do. Make any free purchases in store. Okay. Oh, it's a good thing here? I didn't do this one then. Now I will wait. Anything else I can? Okay, I can take that off. I hope that answers your question, Fotis. Nice. Uh, where is my special box? Special, special box. And I can make another one of these. That's crazy. Where is it? A guild box. Guild box. Let's go! Another 5,000 pointless currency. Alright, so this can finally be enhanced all the way. That seems like a lot of materials to break through. What do you think, chat? That seems like a lot of materials. I 
Uh, Brick, let's do the... You don't want to do Frontier Clash? That seems like a lot of materials. Like a lot for these. Let's do it. It's done. Unlocked physical attack nine 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 nine. 9 9 What? I'm not a physical user. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm like nine 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 nine. <laughs> no, I get so big, but do you want to do a frontier clash first if you need it? Accessories. That's gonna take a long time, but you know what? What's done is done. No regrets. That's a lot of materials. Oh, so do you? So what do you need to do? Do you actually need Sobek, or you don't need Sobek? Oh, what do we have here? Kill any free world bosses. I do wonder. Is my good friend up? That thing lunged at me? <laughs> well, no so, but no, uh, oh, someone is shouting for a so, but challenge raid vit. And chest. Well, Vit you can use, right? That's easy. I just saw a ch ch challenge raid in this thing. Or was that in recruit? Hmm. The challenge raid needs... What is it? Wasn't it the stupid one again? The one that needs tanks and healers. Really bad design. Get rid of these dots. I hate them. Go away. You know what? Let's do our 10 here. You are never going to give me a character. Okay, goodbye. And, oh! We're guaranteed a 5 star. Let's do it. We're guaranteed a 5 star. Come on! Give me a Fenny. Give me a Fenrir. Nope. <laughs> 
king. Why does everyone want me to get king? That wouldn't be bad if it's one that I haven't maxed out Jamala. Okay, so that's two four stars. Hello, I'm so I think I've maxed her out. No, I haven't. I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it because I haven't maxed that one out yet. I mean, I could if I spent my currency. Where is she? Well, I've got her to freestyle now. Unlocked her second skin. Let's go. She is still a good character. Mplex two thousand, awaiting your instructions, executor. One day, Crystal. One day. I still need Umi, Tian Lang, Fenrir. Uh, these aren't in the standard. These aren't in the standard. Obviously, that one is never going to be in standard. That's just a polymorph. Polymorph. So that's a weird one. But there isn't that many, really. No, 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 no. We don't do that. We don't do that. We don't do that. Uh, so you needed the raid. What was the raid? It's that stupid guy. Black Jade Warrior. Hmm. How can we go about doing this? Well, clearly I'm going to have to switch to a healer. That is not my healer set. That's my healer set. Alright. I'm still tempted to pull for um, the collab matrices for a two-piece, at least. They seem really good. For flame, anyway. And I don't know how good uh, GU's matrices are going to be. I suspect they're going to be good. But I don't know. Uh... Oh, he's gone already. I thought he was still here. So, I will go and kill Sobek. Or he's going to kill me. But I think I've got a good chance of killing him. Yeah. Let's see. What do we have here? I'm guessing this is full of whales. You dip to spend vit? We will have to do another run for you. Just saw a random shout. Man, everyone is tanks here except me. I feel like. So 
So this is the thing I don't like about this fight. You can't do anything. Like literally no damage at all. There's literally no point to you doing anything. If you're not a tank, there's literally nothing you can do here. Uh, Jagsugi or not, I just saw a random shout and I just jumped into it, honestly. I'm probably going to get kicked myself now. I didn't go tank. Uh, the mechanic on this, uh, boss runs around, does stupid stuff, then boss puts a shield up, you need to break the shield, if you break the shield, you win, if you don't break the shield, you lose, like every other raid boss that they've recently come out with, it's, uh, it's honestly lazy. But it's a pain. Because up until these new raid bosses, everything was Unga Bunga. Nothing was, um, nothing was mechanic trivial. It doesn't need to be good, you just need to have Shatter. The idea is literally just to think, hey, voila, how's it going? That big circle means everyone stand together. So my dude is running away.
No, not 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 with the circle. Okay, there you go. Just have to share the damage. Get away from me. Hey, Quackers! You had a mention in my last video. So that's pretty so that's pretty much it. That's that that's the whole mechanic of the fight. It's really not hard. As long as you've got people that know what they're doing. Obviously Icarus would make this faster because Icarus gets him to enrage faster and you know put his shield up. But that's really it. Once again another fight where Icarus is just king. people killed yes you Hundred and thirty seven million means nothing. Oh, that hundred and thirty seven million Jamala means nothing. Uh, it just means that the mechanic being triggered is being triggered by that person, so they basically take a huge chunk of the damage. That's it. It's like uh, last week in that fight, I did five billion damage. That was from one attack. That's not normal. Yeah, the latest Elder Scrolls one. Again, like I said, Jamal, the, the, this fight is stupid. It, I, I'm guessing we don't have enough healers. Because I shouldn't have gone down that quick. Is there enough in there? I'm guessing I was stood in one of those. I don't know. I actually don't know why I died. Brick, you also need people to know what to do. I actually did um, ask the dev team if they can add like a training mode to this game for these bosses so people can go in solo, you know, check out the mechanics, see what the mechanics are, learn the mechanics, you know, for it to just give you an example of what the mechanics are, what to do, and yeah, um, uh, that got turned down as well.
How cool would that be, right? Having a, a training mode where you go in and it just teaches you the mechanics of the fight. Because the biggest problem with all of this is that half the time people just don't know what to do with the mechanics. Like you saw with the one running around with that big circle. If you've got the big circle, everyone has to gather on you. If you've got this small circle, you stay away from people. You can still go in the big circle, but just don't gather around everyone else. Yeah, kind of thing. But just like, you know, it, you go in and the, the boss will do its first mechanic, second mechanic, third mechanic. And then that's it. I mean, the bosses only have like three mechanics. It's break the spear. Yeah. Stand in the big circle that says, look, everyone stand in. It's even pointing in. Stand inside. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's, it's telling you what to do. And the third one is a small one where you run away. Oh, and I guess if you count the shatter, that's four mechanics. That's that done. Man, that was a... I did amazing this round. I did amazing. I was close to top DPS too. It's just overall bad design. It is just overall bad design. I don't like it. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Wait. I didn't have any matrices on it. Did... Why no matrices? Where did they go? Did I did they come off when I died? Uh, where is Sobek? Yeah, but if. We can uh, start up another raid if you guys want. Try and get it done for you guys. I'm cool with that. Just gonna go kill uh Just gonna go kill this Sobek real quick. If he's even up. What are those? What are these anyway? I, I, I keep seeing them. Okay, guess they're nothing. And of course, Sobek isn't up.
from the standard banner. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, this one at A1 is good. It's good for buffing. At A1, when hitting a target with a skill or dish star skill, apply one stack of war. Is that the one? No, this one here. After hitting a target with a skill of discharge, gain one stack of the following buff. Increases damage dealt by 8% for 25 seconds, stacking up to three times for a maximum of one stack per skill use. So you can get up to 24%, which is nice. Uh, if you're Frost, Alice is good, I think. The skill that she puts down uh, imitates, uh, if you're a full Frost team, 70% extra damage of the your Wanderer's attack. Which is good. If you're a tank, these two are still relevant. I mean, I'm still using them, for example. Uh, Samir, not. Nemesis is still a really, really good healer. So that's one. Uh, she's been, She's gone. He's gone. Don't bother. She's still a really good healer. Don't bother. Don't bother. Still a good healer. Don't bother, don't bother, don't bother. She's good, but she's more of a selfish healer. Um, but you really get the max potential out of her at A6. Is there anything else that's there? Umi, I wouldn't bother. Uh, Spear of Longinus is the current collab character. Obviously, that's not in there. He's in there, but I wouldn't bother. And that's it. Yeah. I mean, her animation is good, but that's... <laughs> I just wish she was still relevant as a DPS because she was good. Her uh, skill that gives hyper body, do you know, that took forever to um, come away from. I just did not want to give that up. That's her sphere that she puts down and it gives you hyper body. That was too good. It really depends if you want to be a healer or a tank or a DPS, Fotis. There are a number of healers in here that are really like worth your while pulling, like going for. Like uh, Coco is really, really good. Um, Zero is still very useful right now and Nemesis is still great. So like these three, even if you just went into content with these three they're good they're not the best right now because you've got characters like brevi and fiona um fiona is more of a buffer than a healer but you know she still has a place but these three here who are standard character have a you know it's still a good comp and it's still right now relevant in my opinion um but as dp as tanks these two are still good as you saw i'm still using them uh, they're not the best but they're good. As a DPS buffer, you can't go wrong with that. 24% extra damage, it's still great. Um, but only as a buffer, not as, a, you know, you bring her in, she'll do her skill, and then you take her straight out. You don't do anything else. You use Fenrir for healing. Then, so you're playing as a DPS. So if you're playing as Vault, is there really anything Vault in the standard banner? Uh... Well, actually, you can go rainbow as well, right? You can go rainbow as well. And that's the one area I'm not 100% sure of. But if you're going to go rainbow, you don't need healers. Claudia could be good. To buff Fenrir. Claudia could be good. Uh, I guess you're not going to need Nemesis. Uh, Shiro, you don't want for thing. Uh... She could be alright as a standard. Because she can play as DPS and uh, tank. So she's got two kind of elements to herself. So that one might not be too bad. Obviously, yeah, she's really good as well. She got a really nice buff for DPS. But she's a ranged and it kind of goes against uh, Fenrir's style of play. So that probably wouldn't synergize well. So yeah, I'd consider those. 
I'd consider those because uh, Alice's uh, trait is nice as well because it enables her A1 on all elements. So her A1 is receive, where is it? Receive Alice's support when using any frost weapon skill in the chilling field. But that basically can go to anything if you're using her trait. But there, there are better traits out there. So I probably wouldn't go with that one. This one could work because she can go from uh, DPS and Shatter depending on which uh, resonance you have. Her actual skill changes. So that would be kind of good because it helps you with Shatter as well. Oh, you have Lin A3? Then that's fine. I, I, I don't know who you got. <laughs> so if you've got Lin, Fenrir, then I would probably go with... With... Really isn't many vault options in the standard banner. I'm still going to go back to Saki. I'm still going to go back to Saki. For now, at least, until you get the next uh, Vault character. And then that will replace Saki. All right, let's uh, <sighs> Brick, did you want to join? No one uses Tian Lung. Not even Tian Lung uses Tian Lung. You just did a raid? You mean there was a shout for a raid and you Bing didn't join it? Wait, was there a shout for a raid? Oh, there was. Zhu Yan. You still want to join anyway to help him out? Or are you good? Before I ask people. Well, anyway, if you want to join, it's auto join. Feel free. Ask as many as you want, Fotis. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, the next banner coming up is a Vault Bow character, so that might be good for you. Uh, I don't know what her global stats are going to be just yet, but she could be good. Um, but after that, it's going to be 4.0. I wouldn't pull on anyone else right now, honestly. I mean, I mean, I'm assuming you want to stay vault. If you want to go flame, there's a flame character coming up next, which is good, which should be good to pull for. 
But if you want to go to King Frost, and we all know Frost is, you know, the dev's favorite element, that's coming in 4.0. Do we have here? Yeah, it just depends on what you want, really. If you are on Discord, feel free to uh, check the links in the description below. I've got uh, my Discord link there. You, if you have any questions, you can also feel free to ask there as well. good to go we're all gonna die it was nice knowing everyone anytime photos anytime and like I said if you have any further questions I'm about for at least another hour or so. Feel free to uh, pop in and ask. Man, I can't change my thing. Where the hell is the shield? We did no damage. Oh shit. Yeah, I think we should restart. Yeah, I shouldn't be tanking. 
I'm not set up to tank. Let's try this again. I didn't realize someone left. All right. No, you were good for. I'll change my relics now. The reason I quit the game a year ago was that you need to pull new weapons in order to be competitive. Older weapons became almost useless. Uh, honestly, that hasn't changed very much, Fotis. If you want to stay relevant for longer with the characters you got, it's best to either go tank or healer. With DPS, you kind of need to pull more often. Uh, it, they don't go completely obsolete immediately now, so the power creep isn't as bad as it used to be. It has slowed down, but Fenrir really uh, screwed things over it until they could stabilize that. Fenrir caused a lot of problems, like a lot of problems. But with land, they kind of normalized it. And it's not been so bad ever since. Altered isn't a bad way to go either. And then just upgrade every altered character. That's not a bad shout. Especially when it comes to like sequential bygone. You can do all of them and get almost maximum uh, marks. Alright, that's it. We just need to do that again. And again. And again. So yeah, right now in, t in the altered camp, you've got Lin, who you've already got. Work on getting her to A6, I guess, because she's still relevant. Uh, you've got Fiona. And you've got Nanying, who is, who is really, really good. She can take on any element, as long as you use the skill before.
But if you want to, if you want characters to last you a long, long time, healers and tanks, man. By the time the next healer and tank comes around, you'll have like two thousand red nucleus, maybe more. And that's not a joke. They don't come around often, so they stay relevant a lot longer. But everyone wants to DPS, right? Everyone wants to do big damage. But I'll be honest with you, mate. You're not going to keep up with whales. And if you want to stay competitive, unless you're pulling A6s with four-piece matrices and stuff like that, you're just not. Don't run away! But as you can see for this fight, Shiro is really good because of her skill. And you can have a bunch of these uh, things just bouncing around inside that circle that she creates. So, like, Shiro is a really, really good character for this. Uh, Janono is another good one, because she absolutely shreds shields. I think. Maybe she doesn't. I know she does a lot of hits, though. Oh shit. Oh no. Break! Thank God for that. Hey, Orangeka. Nice to see you around. Missed you last week. How have you been? Naturally, had to carry some people, right? I don't think we're going to have enough time. Why would you come in there?
I don't get it. If you've got the circles underneath you, why are you coming in? I think we could have had this if people weren't killing each other. How many people do you think is going to drop after this fight? That is the million dollar question. Time to recruit again. Oh, what do we have here? for some trouble.
<laughs> stuck between me and a healer and a chat attack. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. Here's hoping uh, they understood the mechanics. I don't think I missed anything in that explanation. If I did, someone tell me. But I think I got it all. Uh, I'm not on Fiona. We are, and it looks like we have... Whoa. Looks like we have some whales. Because they are... They are doing crazy damage. You see the difference money makes? You can't compete with that. You can't compete with someone's wallet. <laughs> uh, I guess this was a carry group after all. Pretty sure that was challenge. Was that not challenge? Uh, I clicked challenge. Oh, there's no way for me to see it. Ah. Either way, I need to go and find thing now. So, but it wasn't challenge. I am really sorry, Jack. I clicked. I click challenge. Uh, we'll get it done for you uh, sometime this week. Oh, what do we have here? That is so weird. I clicked on challenge. Ah, uh, that sucked. That's the second time that's happened to me now. And I feel shit about it. Can we still do challenge? Or is that it? Their, their turn is gone. Now you get some materials. That sucked. Because I went in. I went in like this. Mm. 
I went like that. I clicked that, and then I went there. I guess it didn't click when I clicked on it. The only difference is these. Which you don't... Oh, you do get them here. You just don't get as many. Wow, there is no Sobek at all. Well, that sucks. I thought that was a bit too easy. Uh, if you guys want, I can come back. Fishing. Catch free fish. Yo, Jack, we'll get it done for you this week. I hate it when that happens. Didn't I do these already? Or well, Jerk, if you start another group up, just invite me. I'll join. I mean, if you have enough money, you can do it. <laughs> but yeah, that... I think Jerk uh, unsubbed and left. I'm sorry. Well, racing.
But if anyone drops, just send me an invite. Does anyone need to do Mahjong? Headset is about to die. I need to get a win for the event. No worries, Yibing. And again, apologies, my dude. I really thought I select. I mean, I selected it, and it didn't change. <sighs> I feel awful, chat. I feel awful. So if you do this solo, it does count for the event. Under three minutes? I don't know, I've never gone below that time. And if you're wondering why I'm just tapping my burst, you actually maintain above 300 longer I did it looks really cool although did you see um how they copied Mia almost identical I mean, they literally ripped it from Toph, changed the hairstyle, and that's it. That's all they did. It's literally Mia. Lin as well. I didn't see Lin. You need to send me that on Discord. So I'm struggling to kill cave corals. That can't be the only place. <laughs> I 
but I think my friend might have been right. It's just an asset flip game. We do. God, I still feel awful. A lot of people really hated this area. I didn't mind it, honestly. You missed one break, half the team left. It also gives them amazing ass cheek shots, right? This was clearly the reason why they made this version, this area. And you can't deny it. Unfortunately, not Quackers, because uh, Xbox decided they didn't want to go for these games. When these games literally print money. <laughs> I haven't been to Fontaine yet, properly. Where is it going? The game is good. It just had a lot of bad rep when it first came out. And it does need to fix a few things. Like the, you know, the new player experience. That's a must, but the game is good. Nothing wrong with the game. I mean, if it was a bad game, I wouldn't be playing it, right? Why did my skill not come off? Why did my skill not come off? God damn it. Jeez! These people do not... They did not mess around. I mean, the characters look beautiful too.
Hey, what's up? Get away from me! The nade, unfortunately, males don't sell. No. Waifu sell. And that's why they put more effort onto the female characters than the male characters. But I get it though. I do get it. I mean, just look at Yanuno's uh, A3 skin. Or that Christmas outfit. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Holy shit, don't, don't, don't stack on me! Alright, whoever's got Fiona, get ready. Fiona time, let's do it, let's go. 
Now I feel better. I have I have redeemed myself. I have redeemed myself. I have got redemption. It's like in the robot thing. If you take damage and heal, you appear high on the thing. Where is the coral thing, man? It's not gonna... Need more cave coral. There's three. There's four. I think there's six. Dragon, there is. There is indeed an Eva collaboration. The story uh, update is really good. Worth it. And you get uh, Asuka and Rei as playable characters for you to pull on. Alright, anyone for Frontier Clash? Actually... Uh, they add to your damage in the robot fights, yeah. Alright, let's get the three of those done too. Oh. And I cannot wait for Dawn Trail to come out. I am I am literally going to be lost in that game for a while. Uh anyone else wanna do Frontier Clash? A quick one? Yeah, I'm just gonna drag the nade in. First one I saw. There you go, see? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Hard. Hard. Not normal. Hard. What is the evolution anyway? Do we oh we don't get the extra rewards. Hard. We're going in.
Wait, I don't get it. Wait, one second, right? Hello, one second. So one second. Oh. I missed it being heroic. Genuinely missed it being heroic. How the fuck did all seven of you miss it as well? You could have hit that reject button. How does, how does this work? Mine was a genuine mistake. How did you miss it? Again, just to update, I am speaking to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. We are dual streaming. Mate, you never trust anyone on this game. The menus do what they want. I had blind trust in... Wow! <laughs> I, see, I see how it is. It knocked me out of my skill. It knocked me out of my skill. Yes, Oren. It pleases me that I have been a positive influence. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't trust me. That's done. Now to go and see if the club is active. Does anyone have any... Tickets for this? I need to do two of these and two of these. I can solo them fine. And if you have any support, then I can drag you in on this one over here to help you use the ticket. If you need it. I assume you've got... The items you need from these two anyway. For these. Oh, is it time for some trouble? Oh, was there a cooking pot here? There was. It's fine. It's fine, Donate. I jumped on and did my shared ones earlier because uh, they're a pain to do. But the ones with tickets, I can solo myself. But I thought I'd just ask and see if uh, anyone needed any. Which ones do you have tickets for? Quackers with another free bits. Thank you very much, Quackers. Uh, 
Uh... What did we have to do in here? Five Teoti. Well, I can do two. I can do two Ying. And then one Angel. It won't let me in for the rest. What do we need to do for the thing here? I've muted the sound because this is copyright area. And they refuse to whitelist us. So can't really do anything about it, I'm afraid. Go on the dance floor and let loose. Is that it? It ain't working. Pick the second dance. Or all the way through. All right, there you go. And now I leave. Yeah, it's a shame I have to mute the sound. I mean, I could have just muted the music, but. Unfortunately, they refuse to whitelist us when we're streaming or provide an alternative music and they use licensed music in there. Which one's the moon rabbit again? Which modules? Well, you want vault. Clearly. So I think you can get For my flame, I went free of flame and something else. Don't care about ice. So, the basic setup I went with my one was these. When there are enemies around Smart 7 that have maximum rage, it throws a huge boulder at them, dealing 1,000 physical damage and stunning them for 3 seconds. Physical isn't the best, I know, but I did go with these two as well. Flame 3 and Flame 4.
Moon Rabbit is Volt, right? You want to go with Flame? If you're going with Flame, it's obvious, right? Each time this monster master uses a normal attack, increase its attack by 5% for 5 seconds. I mean, that could be good. Element matters. That's why um, I put flame on flame. This dude is a vault. So you want to you wanna put as much vault on him as possible. If you're looking for the flame one, it's this one. That was. Oh, that that one. Smart servant, Void Angel, is now in position. So you want to pick the one that's right for your element. If you're a flame main, then you don't want to be using Moon Rabbit. Uh, brick, what are we doing? Uh, do you guys want to do Mahjong? Or have you done it already? Is it? I kept on getting it 100%. Which world boss are you doing? So, Majong. I don't understand anything, but if we do it, one of us loses and then the other one wins. Done. I know we need to get some copper blooms, right? So I will get a thousand. I'm hoping that will be enough. You and me both. Brick, make your way here. Jeez, how many coupons do you guys have? Man, I got a load as well. How do I have 22,000? No, apparently if you just play, you win. And that's it. They didn't refund it back then, did they? Uh, do we need four players? Denaid, come on over. Apparently we need four players. Dude, I have no idea. All I'm saying is... 
I think Brick needs a win. I need a win. Uh, I'm going to go Dot. I don't know what I'm doing. Seven dot. Eight character. Eight seemed higher than seven. Eight dot. Pong. Nine bamboo. Nine dot. What button is to Eight submit? Dot. Does anyone know what they're doing? Two character. Seven character. Now, all I'm saying is, if you being and donate know what they're doing, you need to lose. Five dot. Seven dot. Do we have to wait ten seconds every time? Two character. Four dot. Pong. So am I out? Did we lose Brick? Two dot nine bamboo six bamboo five bamboo. I guess I have to go dots. One dot. Six character. Kong. So basically, I should have went with bamboo. Three dot. Five dot. Five character. Six dot. Four dot. Double click on your shit. <laughs> Make it go faster. Seven bamboo. Pong. One bamboo. Five dot. Six dot. One bamboo. Five character. Five character. Maybe somewhere. Two bamboo. Nine dot four character three dot 
three dot. Six bamboo. I'm playing to. Well, I want either me or Brick to win. But none of us know what we're doing. You can tell me what to do, though, if you know what to do. One bamboo. Seven bamboo. Two dot. Seven dot. You need to make trios of either sequences or the same. Three dot. Tiles. Eight bamboo. One dot. Four character. Two bamboo. Nine dot. All right, so I've got a four there and a four there. If I put another four, that could work. Three bamboo. Seven character. Wait, why didn't it let me put this down? Two dot. One dot. Five character. Four character. Two bamboo. Nine character. It's a one bound to continue. Six dot. Uh, uh, Two dot. Right, he can actually take this because he needs it. Nine character. He chose not to. Nine dot. Eight character. Minus eighty points. What? Hey, you Bing, you're not supposed to win. Brick or me supposed to win. You're doing it wrong. Yeah, you just wasted a whole round. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Select three tiles of the same suit. Uh, let's go dot again. Seven bamboo. Nine 
9 bamboo 4 bamboo 5 dot 4 character 4 I know right character. I can't believe they put this as a goddamn challenge. Seven dot. Thanks, Sankeys. You stole my item? How dare you? Can this not be played in two players? Does it have to be four? Three dot. Three dot. Why couldn't I take that? It's in one of the 39 uh, objectives that you have to do. Wait, I skipped a turn? Two dot. Nine dot. Yep. Six bamboo. I'm just trying to get a win and that's it. Dot. I'm not doing this ever again. And I'm trying to get brick clear as well. And if you want to, if you want to win, come and do it again. One bamboo. I win. Did I win? How did I win? Three dot eight character. I'm so confused. I have never been more confused in my life. I win. I have no idea what is going on. Five I haven't been able to put down anything so far. Eight bamboo. Three character. Why is it putting characters down for me? I'm not even controlling this. Nine bamboo. Oh, 
What is going on here? H bamboo. H bamboo. I would if it let me. One bamboo. It won't let me do anything. It's all greyed out. H dot. As you can see on screen. I can't pick anything. One bamboo. I win. Six dot. Is the one against the landlord against the CPU? Kong. Five character. I don't know. Nine bamboo. Two dot. Five character. Four character. Yeah, but I can't even select anything. Six bamboo. That's the only one I can pick. One dot. And I got one, two, three. Nine bamboo. I've got 12. Two There's too many rounds. So why can't I select anything? Dot. Seven character. Like it's literally auto playing for me. I, I don't understand. Seven character. One dot. One dot. Six character. I mean, I hope he does. Two character. Donate is doing something. I ain't touching the... I'm not doing anything. It's just picking for me. Everything is grayed out. Three bamboo. Seven bamboo. I win. That's the only thing I can click on. Eight bamboo. I don't even know how I enabled autoplay. How do you do autoplay, Katty? I mean, I was selecting them just fine. Did I win? Did it count? Oh, is it time for some trouble? It did not count. Three times I told I was told it was one win. No, you now you have to play the other game. What other game?
Yeah, but we need uh, we need brick to get a win. Let's let's let, let's get brick to get his win. Yeah, but brick needs to get a win. Doesn't he need a win? He needs a win. Nah, he doesn't need a win? If he doesn't need a win, we can go to the other one. Anyone confirm if he needs a win? Oh, you don't need a win. Okay. Brick, you don't need a win. Let's go to the other table. This lady? No, the lad called fu fucking. Okay. And fight the landlord? Uh, we can't do it while in a group. Everyone leave. Oh, so I'm the only one that didn't go in. Yabing, did you select this by Fuking or Fushing? Yabing. Come over here. Select matchmaking. This one. Uh, landlord. God, this is so frustrating. Oh, okay. Sergey, since you already have this, you lose, I win. That's how it works. Everyone's happy and we can get on with our lives.
majesty. Pass. Pass. Three. Seven. Pass. Eight. Nine. Pass. Ten. King. Two. Pass. Black Joker. Pass. Pass. Three. Pass. Four. Five. Pass. Six. Eight. Pass. Nine. Ten. Pass. Ace. Pass. Am I winning? <laughs> this is so tough. Pass. Five. Eight. Pass. Nine. Ten. Pass. So peasant has seven. Pass. Landlord has Pass. eighteen. Seven. Jack. Pass. Two. Pass. Pass. Two. Pass. Brick. Pass. Queen. They're Chinese card games. Pass. Pass. Five. Pass. Queen. Ace. Pass. Pass. Jack. Pass. Queen. Am I winning? Let's go. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Let's go. We did it! Let's go! <laughs> How are you faring, Brick? Oh my god, that was... Like, why? Why did we have to do that? Oh, that, that was... That was painful. That was painful. That was painful. Uh, kill any free world boss. Collect a begonia. Got to do void rift three times. So back. Uh, I've done that one. Is it time for some You lost. Let's uh try going together. I guess if we all pass, does he win by default? Where is he? Let's try it again. Brick make sure he <laughs> I hope Brick got in. Because if he didn't get in. Please get in. Can you do it there on the tables? Well, we're in. All right. This game mode is so bad that no one wants to do it. All right. I'm going to go do not call. I am a pro at passing. Black Joker. Pass. Pass. Five. Pass. Seven. Queen. Pass. Hey, I ain't auto here. I am actively click clicking on pass. pass. I'm putting a lot of effort here to get you that win. Two. Majesty, pass, pass, 
Ace. Pass. Pass. Ace. Pass. Pass. King. Ace. Pass. Pass. Six. Pass. Jack. Pass. Pass. Jack. I'm guessing you have to have a nut card that's higher than the landlords. So you shouldn't be passing, you should be trying to put maybe a card down. Hopefully that got you your clear. Did you get it? Did you get it? There we go. Get out of it before, <laughs> before one of you start liking it. Alright, that's done. Thank you, 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 thank you. Getting out of that hellhole real quick. Here are some codes for you. Enjoy them while they last. Uh, I don't know if they work on PS5. I know they work on Global, but I'm not sure if they work on PS5. Now here's some more codes. Oh, what do we have here? I haven't actually tried them on PS5. And there's some more codes. That was totally worth everything. I'm going to reach out to my contact for the PlayStation version and see if they can give me some codes. Also, those the majority of those codes that I've just put down are free per person. So if you've only collected one, um, feel free to collect more. You can collect up to three per person. There is a limit on how many each person can collect, so feel free to collect. Yeah, Brick, you've probably collected the first two sets already. Oh, you haven't heard? A giant creature showed up after the earthquake, nearly leading to Marori's destruction. With all that happening, good food prices are bound to go up. I'm just getting ahead of the curve.
So feel free to grab them as soon as you can. And yeah, I'll speak to uh, my contacts for PlayStation and see if they can drop me some codes. Yeah, should have stayed home. It's rumored that the flight path from Aurora to Inners is shutting down for good. And those creatures have ne already nested beneath the desert. Aurora could well, very well be abandoned. That's way too exaggerated. Got to do something to stop these rumors. Maybe I should bring this up with Miss Lynn. You are welcome. Mira Fleur. You are welcome. Oh, man. So I think we've done... I've got my dreams to do. Does anyone know if Sobek is up? Every time I go... Every channel I've gone with shows that he's been down. Information of the situation. I see everything that's going down. Rooms are probably spreading fast. I was tied up with other matters and couldn't deal with this till now. Actually, you sent me something on Discord. Awesome stuff for those of you that uh, watch my podcast over at the Chaos Lounge. I should be having Paris over next week. Not the Paris Hilton, no. Actually, uh, influencer called Paris. That is good news. Uh, let's see. Don't know who that is. That is so Lin. <laughs> yeah. They ripped that off hard. But I bet not a single person will tell you that they ripped it off, though. Is that it? Rumor. I don't know. Everything I'm hearing about Wolverine Waves is putting me off, like, a lot. Quackers, you're spoiling me. Another three bits cheered. Thank you very much, dude. But you know, with Wuthering Waves, what I'm all I'm hearing is that it's basically. Uh... Oh yes, let's do those. Let's do those before I forget. You reminded me. Uh, I need to. Well. I've got a, I've only got tickets for the first, second, and I, eventually I'll have for the third. So just a heads up. Are we? Let me invite. Visit the event screen to submit. Oh, it's done. Nice. No, no, no. 
Okay. Let's, uh... All right, uh, I know Brick wanted to do it. I know you Bing wanted to do it. Anyone else? Uh, we can do a joint operation, sure. It's just aimed at uh, the hardcore audience. And I just don't find that fun. These games are supposed to be casual. That's what makes them fun. You know, having a odd few mechanic a raid boss here or stuff like that that's mechanic driven is okay, but the whole game is engineered around the hardcore. And I just don't think that is fun. Does anyone else need a defense breach? Alright, we're going in for the first one. It just, I mean, the more I hear about it, the more it puts me off. Uh, Taz told me about a game. I keep forgetting the name. It's a weird name. Um, Dark something? Dark Knight? It's not Batman related, don't worry. Wow, level 13. Sheesh. But, um... That one looks really interesting. I'm guessing Taz isn't here anymore, but he he said the name earlier. I, I just can't remember it. Night Dark something. It's basically a gacha game, but it's like Warframe. Uh, let me know when you're ready. And we'll go back in. I know you're being ready because he's got like so many tickets. Oh. Oh, that cap that they put for the points is the most pointless one of them all. At least make it like 5,000 points or something. It's like completely useless. You cap it after like three attempts. And then you waste like three, four thousand points every time. The amount of times I've moaned about this to the team, it's crazy.
Alright, we've got the green. Uh, Katty, all you need to do is what we're doing now. That's it. That's how you open them. By doing defense breach and... Well, you do that to get your points. And then you upgrade these. And it gives you the points. And that's how you go up the, up the thing. I see. Uh, I went 20 everything in brick and then I took my blade all the way to 30 and now I'm taking the core to 20. The middle one is only defense and that can come in a little handy on the higher levels but lower levels it doesn't matter. But seriously with the support attempts if you're doing them late in the evening it's almost impossible. You have to do them during the day because no one does them during the evening. And of course you want to use uh, all your you want to use all your um, support tickets on the last one that gives you the most upgrade materials uh, looks like sticks plays both Let me know when you guys are ready. On PlayStation, today's the first day? No way. I hope you're feeling better, Kay. I hope you're feeling better. And you made a swift recovery.
uh, someone ran into the wilderness. So the idea with the defense aspect is that you want to take as much damage as you can while being able to soak it because you get a lot of points for taking damage. And that's where the middle tree comes in. Hey, Arthur, who do you think? Who do you think? Mr. Warren. Mr. Warren. Also, Arthur, not this week, but next week I'll have uh, Paris on the show. Just uh, organising either Tuesday or Thursday, but he's definitely uh, up for it. So we'll be talking about a lot of uh, things on that show. Uh, okay. Let's do it. The Tenth Angel! for some trouble uh you would have got uh an angel ticket brick i'm out of support as well so uh i did my support earlier today So I don't know if we can actually help uh, Yubing. I mean, we could try. I can give him lead after and he can try take us in. Okay, for this, what you want to do is you want to collect five of these orbs. Once you do, you can go through the barrier and start beating the crap out of Angel again. Alright, I broke his shield. You'll still get points, don't worry. So for example, look, 
I'm gonna take hit from hit from this. I'm just standing in this. If you don't have your mechs geared up, you will like take that can kill you basically. But because I've got it uh, already, thing. Thank you. That's pretty much guaranteed me a win now. A lot of people just run out of that. Just look at my damage, right? Even if I had Yubing's damage here, if this was flipped, I would still win because of these two. So the amount of damage received and healing is really important. So you always use your skills and try and take damage. But just take damage within. Uh, essentially, Brick, what you, what you need to do is do your six... Every day you get six uh, support tickets, right? Let me show you. So every day you're going to get six support tickets. I've got none right now. You use those on this one over here. Hope you get like a high ranking. Even if you die, you're going to get good points to upgrade. Uh, once you've used your six support on this, you use two regulars on this, two on this, and then you'll get another one there. So you'll do seven a day on this one. Two a day, two a day. This one over here gives you four shards of the Eva uh, avatar. This one over here gives you one Eva, oh, so one Shinji. This one gives you four Shinji. So the Shinji one you'll upgrade really quickly. Which is basically uh, this stuff you, you basically get. You need 40 shards each. So this one you're going to get real quick, real fast. Uh, this one will be a little slower. But you may want to prioritize uh, these for your for a little bit. Because you probably have enough for things. But this one you can solo. And Brick, if you're in my Discord and you're struggling uh, clearing this stuff, just give me a shout and I'll come and help you out. That's not a problem. But essentially, once you've done that, you get your points, and you obviously there's this reward here as well. Make sure you get 200 points. Nothing else. I mean, it's going to be difficult to get into the ranking if you haven't been doing it from the get go. But also, there's a there's a cheese to this, which is nasty that people are doing. So I've only missed one day, and you can see the difference. But there is a nasty cheese that people are doing where if you go in, the moment you go in, if you alt F4, wait for five minutes, and then log back in once the event, once they've finished their round, you get the points and you don't lose your ticket. That's a really nasty, nasty uh, bug. Which they're not fixing, by the way, so exploit it as much as you can. That's the only reason I'm telling people, because they refuse to fix it. So I want people to abuse it like there's no tomorrow. So you said you were far behind. You can actually abuse that to your heart's content. If they won't fix it, people should abuse it. It's only fair, right? But you have to be really quick. The moment it loads in, you alt F4. At least that's what I've been told. And I know a few people that have done it. And that's how they're getting up the rankings quite high. Uh, in terms of what to upgrade. Now as you can see from this. This is your all round. You've got 6 to 6 attack. 18 crit. Oh, is it time for yeah I didn't do it then. Aid. It's, I couldn't be bothered. This one has 88 attack. 24 crit. This one is all about HP and resistance. Uh, it can. You just need to close the game. 
bring the PlayStation menu up as soon as it's going in and close the game. Done. It kills the application. Uh, so this one is resistance. So if you're not really that bothered with resistance, you don't need to focus on that one. Now, this over here, I don't know what it actually does. But once you've leveled up your components to 20, you can click on advance and oh, it upgrades dude, this mech. Please. Well, that's what it does. It upgrades this. It makes it whatever it does. Oh, it takes it from level 1 to level 2. Here you go. Now I know what it does. So this is what it started off as. Once you get it to level 2, your base stats go to this. And at level 3, all components level 3, you get this. Now, there are another two... Uh, well, level 30 is the current cap. Level 50 will be the new cap once Ray gets introduced. So then, at least that's what it was on CN. Neither did I. I just saw it flashing. So this is the one I've got now. And I'm moving over to this one soon. But these two are more... F like, get this one to 20 so you can upgrade your mech. All of them to 20. Then concentrate on the blade to 30. Then on the aura engine. Because uh, it just gives everything. And then do your radiant core last. Because I once you get to level 20, as you saw... You just don't take as much damage. And these ones you're free to just spend how you want. Just keep a remind, keep an eye out for these because uh, it does use the same thing. But that's it. And you get those through, you know, when not here. These boxes here give you some. And you get some from doing this as well. I think. Also, once you've collected everything from this and you've done everything, the only real thing you want to focus on are these. So I've collected all the titles. I've collected all the oh, emotes. So these, when you collect them, you don't automatically get them, by the way. So what you want to do is when you collect them, these start to go round. So I think you need like four of each in order to get a full circle and then you click on it and then you clear. Uh, it should be, Jetsugi. It should be. But that is essentially the event, really. Uh, and this obviously is just a roulette wheel. Uh, I don't need those anymore. I've already capped it. So I want to get as many of these things as possible. And obviously it's going to be an arsehole and uh, not give me anything. That's horrible. But I really, really hate this mechanic. Like, look at it. It's just a waste of turns. It's just a waste of turns. Oh, what do we have here? That's another 10. I mean, this has got to be the worst mechanic I've seen them do. Like, seriously. Like, it's really bad. Like, how is this entertaining? Right? How is this fun? And when I raise it to them, and I tell them, and I told the devs, this is beyond goddamn shit. When I tell the people in charge, they get offended. Why are you getting offended? It is shit. Don't get offended when I'm telling you the truth. Look at it. All that stuff that I got. Wasted. I can't. I, I didn't even get any points for it. It annoys me. 
because there's just so much more that they could have done with this event. Hello, I'm so bored. Come and... oh. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, I was locking them until I got what I wanted. Where is that? And don't you know it, Arthur. And don't you know it. The billboard's loose. Better mark it. Is that it? Was that the event? Was that the mission? No. There's more. That one over there. There's just, you know, why make it more? You've already handicapped people by not being able to progress fast enough. Why are you adding a slot machine, which if luck isn't on your side, you could actually miss items because of the RNG nature of the event. Also, one other thing for you guys to be aware of. Don't do what I did, yeah? Don't do this. Because uh, I found out the hard way that it's a waste. Uh, it's it's a dumb... It's, it's, a, it's bait. So, unless you don't care for the event, then definitely do it. There's 160 of these, and that's enough to basically rank free your pen pen. But, you get enough of these from doing uh, the bosses... You get enough of these from doing the current robot events. And also, when you're doing these, you get them here as well. Also, you get you get another... Where is it? Is it there? Hello, I'm so bored. You get another 20 here. And I'm guessing you're going to get another pen pen from one of these two. Because if we go in here, this doesn't show that I've actually got it yet. So it's going to come from one of the other events. So that's 40 just there. I actually didn't realize this and I used my actual currency to buy it, to R3 it. And that's a waste of currency. So don't buy them yet, but don't burn all your currency because you'll probably need to buy some of them. But just keep that in mind because uh, you don't have to buy all of it to get to R3. And as for the books, never pull for the books. Ever pull for the books. Level 100, maxed out. I can't level up anymore. And I've got 500 of these. So if they ever increase the level cap, these will be there waiting for me. But other than that, they're just useless currency now. You get a metric ton of those.
And can you imagine if Sweet Baby Ink saw this game? Holy shit. Holy shit. I think they'd have an aneurysm. <laughs> this machine is making strange noises, seems to be malfunctioning. Safety hazard inspection. No. Uh, essentially, they're a group that's designed for uh, diversity in video games and movies and stuff like that, right? But ultimately, they're a bunch of racist people who hate white people. And companies like Sony, Microsoft, Capcom, they're all basically uh, supporting them because they're scared of the backlash that they'll get if they don't support diversity and they've been threatened as well by these people you know what they are supposed to be doing is supposed to be actually a really really good thing but they've weaponized it against uh essentially against the white people and it's nasty it's nasty um, that, that's that's just not how you do business you don't weaponize it. You don't do that. But hey, what do I know? And now they've got everyone against them. They tried to get someone's Steam account banned as well. Just because they set up a curator group. Like I said, I'm all for diversity. I am. But the way they went about it is bad. There's also like one of the people that's actually running that company. They actually, uh, years ago, back in like 2013 to 2015, a charity was introduced to help women who found it difficult to get into video games and programming. So the charity was there being funded by external uh, resource companies. To basically help with the with the sole purpose to help women into video games and into coding, which I think is fantastic. I didn't even know about it honestly. And these people who now work for Sweet Baby Inc. made it their lifelong uh, mission to destroy that company because it was helping women. And now they're saying that they're all for women's rights, but they actually caused so much trouble and doxed the charity. That the investors basically had to pull out and they had to close the program. Uh, that one works for EA. That's an EA employee who used to work for Sweet Baby Inc. Yeah. So, like I said, there's a. There's a lot of stupidity that's going on there, and it just didn't need it. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? And now they think that there's like an agenda against them. Well, there kind of is. You've decided to attack people and did you think the internet wasn't gonna go around and search and bring out your dirty laundry i mean that's what they actually thought that the internet wouldn't do that i mean you gotta be a special kind of stupid if you think that's gonna if that's gonna be the case 
I'm confused. Why isn't this completing? Why did you bring me here then? <laughs> Fucking awesome. <laughs> and so they got hit back and they got hit back hard. Now you've got people who are supporting them and I think they're crazy because there's a right way to do things and then there's a wrong way to do things. One hundred percent brick. One hundred percent. That's exactly what it is. And that's why people are against them. It, it, it's unfortunate. It is. But these people, all they care about is power. You know, having that uh, ability. And uh, it's sad. It's really sad. Because, uh, like I said, the, the notion that they stood for is great. But what they ended up actually standing for is horrendous. And that's just not good. No matter how you uh, want to sugarcoat that, it's just not good. I mean, as far as they're concerned, they're saying that even if it doesn't contextually make sense to put an ethnic minority into, you know, that scene or that game or that movie, if it even if it doesn't make sense, you should still do it. Even if it breaks the law, you should still do it. Even if it breaks, co you know, continuity, you should still do it. Now, I'm an ethnic minority myself, and even I know that that's retarded. Right? There's dumb and then there's there's just dumb. Reading appears to have been smashed and deformed. Let's mark it down. This is done. Look, there are some things that they said that I can't say on stream right I can't I, I literally can't say it on stream that's how bad it is because uh, I'd be at risk of deleting having my channel deleted We need to open five chests. Let's do it. Where is this? Azure, Azure, Azure. All right, let's go there. Like when you sympathize with that dude during World War Two and the monstrosities he does, and then say that you should go and do that to white people. You have some mental fucking illness right there. Right? 
I've tried to be as loosely worded with that as I can. And I'm going to stop there. But you have to have some mental fucking illness to be able to come out with some shit like that. But then you've got all these companies that are still supporting them. And I don't get it. Politics and gaming are never good. Unless it's Metal Gear. Metal Gear thrived on politics. I mean, if you took the politics out of Metal Gear, you take the game out of Metal Gear. <laughs> that game, ninety percent of it was politics, but no one cared because it worked and it was part of the game, and it just worked. Oh, they are getting hounded, aren't they? They are getting absolutely hounded right now. I feel sorry for them, guys. They released a really good game that's only good in multiplayer. If you try to play it solo, made a you know made a heavens be kind to you. And I do pity you if you do try to play that game solo because uh, it's really bad. Hey, thanks for the free bits. Quackers? I need to start getting my Twitch. Um, notifications working here. But yeah, it, 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 it's, it's just it's just wrong on many, many levels. But you know, no one, the whole world is scared to say anything to them. You don't make your character in Helldivers, do you? Do you actually make your character? I don't remember. Because even if you do, when you die and you get respawned, you sometimes respawn as female characters, right? That should be enough. Uh, oh shit, I forgot about the joint operation. Uh, do you still need it? Uh, brick. I totally forgot about that. Uh, joint eight, okay? In a weird way, I think Chain Soldiers kind of work for an enemy and it manages to be Eki as well. I mean, they're all doing it now.
But yeah, so. And that's why when you see something like Stellar Blade, which goes against the status quo, everyone's gone crazy. And it's just, you know, people wouldn't react like that under normal circumstances. Uh, kill any world boss three times. Begonia. If we don't get in, I'll uh, just take us both in. We should be able to clear number eight between the two of us. That's going to wait until next week. That's we're going to do one now. Defeat Sobek. So I've got Sobek, any free world bosses, and joint operations. That's not a bad haul for today. I'll teleport to Sobek. What's going on here? Oh, Begonia. No, I don't need it. And then we can just go in ourselves. No, it's not even activism at this point. I just think, you know, this whole notion that Science is no longer valid. Man, there is no Sobek al alive at all, anywhere. Just the, you know, our biology, our, bio our biological makeup. I mean, go, go outside and ask someone, uh, tell someone, uh, ask them what is a woman and you'll see the amount of, uh, 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 uh. It's crazy. It's so weird. Anyway, uh, Brick, we're just going to go in so that duo, because it looks like there's nothing going on. It's just stupid.
If you make it to the end brick, let me know and I'll jump off. I did not. Do you mind sending it to me? That would be the second video I'm going to react to. If it's good. I've already got a Final Fantasy video coming out tomorrow with Final Fantasy 16 and 9. Looks like they're coming to Xbox. That's close. But you see, this right here is why I won't. I enjoy streaming these on Monday. You all enjoy the stream. You all having fun. I get to help some people out. Sabotage others with uh, going into heroic. You know, the usual thing. Did you execute? I thought you'd have got more than that for executing. I'm quite happy with my flame team. I could do better with the matrices though. Was that all you needed, Brick? Brick, any chance you could try and land on a different channel that's not four to see if Sobek is up? I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna go have a look at a. Uh, Robog.
Robug is not up at channel 4. Where my mushroom? Have any of you tried this? Take it easy, sticks. Yeah, they got big ass cheeks. Oh, big ass cheeks didn't last long. It makes you go big. Real big. All right. Don't go to eight. It's gone. Uh, four is gone. What channel is Brick on? Brick's on channel four. Uh, okay. I know it's not there on channel four. So I'm going to try six. Robug isn't here. Like, this was something else that I asked. Like, why can't we have it so it resets every, uh, every five minutes? Like, why do these bosses need to be every hour? Like, what possible benefit could there be? If so, I've had a boss to heal themselves. Oh, come on. I died to the... Hey, Static, how's it going? I guess it's because uh, you get the module boxes, right? Everyone farming those for the module boxes. You can get 12 a day. Uh, not doing joint operations now, not doing void rift. Well, I need to go and kill two other bosses, so the hunt continues. Let's check out, uh, where is she? 
Check out Lucia. Is it 10 per week? I thought it was 12. But the thing is, I hate Titan Gear so much, I can't even bother to do that. <laughs> But Titan is such a horrible uh, game mechanic. Nope, Lucia's gone. Lucia's gone. Roebug, I summon thee. I use. Oh, sorry. Did you ask a question before? Sorry, I, I must have missed it. I had a question. How do you get Titan gears? Uh, right. Titan gears are from bosses and thing. The actual gear you have to upgrade. So you get your normal gear, like, uh, come on. So this is like your normal gear, right? And then over here, you're going to get this augment option eventually. You click on augment, and then you can basically augment the piece. And eventually, after you've augmented it enough, it turns into a titan piece. You get the pieces, as they said, from events. Donate, I'll be there in just a sec. Uh, bosses and yeah and your second question I use Mimi, Rebellion and Nanyin all at a zero free to play is that good? Mimi uh, is <laughs> Bob just shut up. Mimi uh, a zero I think she needed a one but a zero she should be okay Rebellion just isn't very good anymore um Though Mimi does a good job in healing her thing, so she actually works well. Was it with Mimi or with Fenrir? And Nanying is very good. Nanying is uh, is really, really good. Hello. She can actually the change Lord her element is and is very, very useful. Uh, from all of those, the next character that you're going to replace is Rebellia. Mimi is, Mimi is uh, still really, really good. And Nanying is good. So uh, Rebellia will be the next character you change. If you're going for the next Vault character, it's going to be Ray. Uh, Brick. Uh, you can invite Danaid or pass me lead and I'll invite him. Or her. I've never asked. I just keep on saying him. Saying it. Yeah, uh, exploration with uh, Boo Billy is good. Oh, is it time for some trouble? Already in a team, Denaid. Oh, yeah, but I can't get to you. It says you're already in a team. You've forsaken us. Yeah, but Ling Han's only good at A5. Without A5, she's trash for exploring. Oh, so you've been gone for a while. Do 
brick. I'm guessing you don't need the bosses. Did you say the dog was still up, the nade? Also, I have A6 Shirley. Do you think I can use that with Mimi and Nanyin? Uh, yeah. She's a good healer. And she's a good support DPS as well. The big doggy, doggy doggy, up north. I know, man. She thick. She thick. Like these little cool things that they used to have here. Why don't they do none of this stuff anymore? That's correct, isn't it? Oh, what do we have here? Like, I, I really enjoyed stuff like that. It was so cool. It's just like they. It's almost like they just went creatively bankrupt once they got to Vera. I saw the 4.0 CN teaser and like a few weeks ago and then I was like, I need to get back ASAP. No, doggy! No! No, doggy? No doggy. Yeah, 4.0 looks really good. I'm, 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 you know, I really hope 4.0 is going to be good. Yeah, I really want to pull for Asuka just to have the skin because I'm never going to use her. But I know it's going to take me 120 pulls just to get it. And it's going to make me cry. What do you think, chat? Should I go for it? Only reason I would pull is just to get the skin. Nothing else. Because you need an A1 for Asuka to be useful. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Denae. But I'm not willing to pull for an A1. I've actually asked if she's going to be coming back and they won't tell me. I mean, they don't tell us anything. Where is Frostbot? Frostbot. 
thrust spots over here. But you know, it's like... There's like no bosses at all, man. It's like a barren wasteland. Do you know where I can get my final boss? I know. The nade I'm gonna have to drop. Actually, you're in my friends list, so you should be able to land where I'm going. Make sure you collect your condoms. There is always one boss here that counts as a world boss. Uh, I really don't like it. I really don't like that skin. It makes her look so trashy. She is such, she is such an elegant uh, character in all the cutscenes. So, uh, you know, pronounced. It's just, it's too much. They, 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 they trashed her way, way too much. Like, there's characters where you, that would really work with. For her, it just doesn't work. I think it's a horrible skin. I don't like it. And I would have bought it. Well, not bought it, but used my currency to get it. No way I'm paying 100 quid for a skin. You must be crazy. Fun fact, I'm not even allowed to say the word skin, bring up the topic of skins anymore when we're talking to developers because I get so pissed off. Yeah, that's plotty. She has a very big plot too. Danae, I'll be honest with you, mate. I'm surprised they haven't kicked me from the program yet. Honestly. It's just the opposite of elegance. It doesn't suit her character. It doesn't suit her character at all. Like, I'm more interested in pulling for um, Asuka's matrices than I am with the character. I want the skin, but I want her matrices more, because those matrices are really nice. At least the two-piece. The two piece is really good, right? I mean, face it, they went overboard.
Uh, this was actually a really fun area when it first came out. It was so good. Probably one of the best times in the game, honestly. Like the way the community was when this event came, when this area got introduced, was something else. Like it was, it felt like a true MMO. It felt like a true MMO. It it, it hit different. Everyone was banding together. There were so many secret quests. Making content was such a joy with so many secret puzzles to make and like this thing oh where is it is it was it so, somewhere here there's like a van somewhere here did they remove it I guess it's somewhere else. But anyway, it's like you had to do like a whole bunch of stuff to teleport into it. It was great. Fighting the dragon was awesome. Uh, Pretty much. This is my own base. Yeah. You have to uh, level up your stuff that you do here. So you level up your development center and then you can level each of these up manually to do it. And then these give you the items you need for the shop, which is this one over here. And you know, this is how you get the bike mount, the Crimson Meteor. Uh, you got different stuff that you can buy here, like uh, avatars and shit like that. You've got more stuff. You can get uh, supply vou special vouchers, uh, four of them a month. So there's lots of cool things that were here. And it was just a really cool event. But one of my favorite things of this area, which brought us all together as a group, was... Uh... Oh, there's Matrix pools as well. Yeah. But I really enjoyed these. I don't know, a lot of people... Were like, oh my god, that's so difficult. Wait, you have to go to your own artificial island, don't you? This is my own artificial. Ah, no, this is a. This is my artificial island, right? If you go to the actual regular artificial island, that's where uh, you find that stuff I was talking about. The, those gates, the golden gates, they were really nice. I really enjoyed those. Banding together, everyone just going to town on those enemies and bosses. It was such a cool sight to uh, behold. Like, exploring all these areas was so much fun. It was so much fun. Uh, broken Teddy Tales. You know, I had a lot of fun making content here. It was great. It was just awesome really really good times it did come out before Vera you needed to uh, get a certain amount of progress in Banjis you sure it was after I can't remember this is what I was talking about that's why I didn't see it. This is what I was talking about. So, like, you can't normally come in here, so you had to find, like, the secret teleport to be able to teleport in here and get your red nucleus. Like, lots of cool shit. Lots and lots of cool shit here. There was another one there. So, this is the basic island where everyone can... But these gates are the stuff that I was t telling you about. Lots of fun, man. Back when 60 seconds just wasn't enough. Oh, looks like I've got a dream.
Apparently. <laughs> you could have soloed them for sure. That's what I'm saying. Back then it was a lot of fun. You had to like get together with a lot of people and it just, it, you know, it, it just hit different back then. That's two out of two. Same one again. That's interesting. And I still can't remember, I still can't believe until like what, a few, a couple months ago, maybe three months ago, I thought the red ones actually lost your points and I was avoiding them at all cost. My life became a hell of a lot easier with this once I realized that I was wrong. Let's see if we can do it one more time. Yeah, and the Confounding Abyss was cool as well. I really enjoyed that area. No, come on. Where's my free out of free? You know, there's still some gates that I haven't done here. No idea where they are now. Boss is done. Yep. That's a waste. I hundred percent everything. Come on. Like in the past, I used to get them all the time. Now it just doesn't want to give me any. There we go. I'll take it. Come on, give me two. Nope. Did I get another one of those boxes? I'm pretty sure I did. Did 
There we go. All right. So now we can go in here, in here. Two upgrades are nice. I have no idea what these do upgrading them, but um, well, they give me more stats, but that's it. And so I'll need some more of those boxes to make sure I've got enough of these. Oh, what do we have here? Obtained from absolute defense from event. So I'm almost at 30 for this as well, and then I've just got this one, and then that's it. That was not a bad haul. I must say. Uh, there is still a long way to go for this. But like, yeah, if, I, if you look at this, I've got 100% here. I've got 100% everything, basically. All 100%. Hundred, hundred, hundred. Innes was probably the most difficult one for me, especially uh, this one. That one was a nightmare. 334 world exploration points. That was a lot. Uh, Mororia, 100%. And the main nine, obviously these are all 100%. But wait, it wasn't the main nine. If we go back, Hello, we've got the pod. That's all 100% as well. But it was Vera. So if we went into Vera, you had these at 100%, but you also have Grayspace and Twilight. So there's extra areas in these as well that you can do. And these give you like a lot of Mira and Vera. Though if you're planning on going into these, make sure you like look up a guide and work out a route because you've got limited time in there. Twilight, you can go in as much as you like. But Grey Space, you've got eight minutes at a time and you can go in three times a day. I didn't really enjoy Twilight, but at least you could go in there and spend as much time as you wanted. The worst part was when I missed one item and I had to scour the whole area for that one item. That was nasty. Oh. I don't even have to do anything. This is... This is stupid. She is just too good of a character. <laughs> Look 
guy couldn't even get out of his chambers. Wanna know what's bad? I may actually break my record of how many enemies I'm killing without doing anything. I think my record was like 190. I'm easily gonna beat that. <laughs> I've beaten my record. I'm not even. This was one character that was so worth a sixing. Remember when getting seventy was like a getting thirty was like a massive struggle. <laughs> yeah, she, she's just powerful. And do you know what's the best part with her? The absolute best thing with her? I think her A1 skin... Yeah, she's fire only. I think her A1 skin is the best out of all of her skins. This is her alter ego. So this is her schizophrenic alter ego that keeps coming out. If you watch the story, you'll see. And that's her third, you know, the paid for outfit. I get they had went for that whole see-through look. But to me, this one just is the best one for her. You know, I think her A1 skin, her A0 skin is cool. Her A3 is okay. Would you like to walk with That's me just weird. The beautiful moonlight? It's you. It's you. I don't like that one either. Master, you said standing like this looks better. I think her A0 skin Master, is way better than her A3 better. skin. Think before you act. Think before you act. I really don't like the headpiece for this one. Think before you think and that one, they've, they've got some weird fetish for weddings. Recording in. Food is recording in. A3 on this one is amazing. This was the first A3 I ever went for. Recording in. And again, this one, eh, I'm not fussed with that one. Lynn is the only one that has four, so her A0 skin is awesome. This was good. I just... Where is it? She puts that mask on. And I really don't like the mask. There's really not much to say about this one. There now this one looks really good in the artwork. I just don't like the way it looks here. And I definitely don't like this thing that's over here. It, I think it just ruins the whole piece. Frigg's uh, A3 is better in my opinion. I am listening. I am listening. Nemesis looks A3 is way you know clearly the best. Morning. And that's Shirley. Meryl A0 is clearly better. I knew you would pick me. I knew you would pick me. Samir just looks the same. 
She's ready for some BDSM, clearly. She's going to torture you like you've never been tortured before, if you're into that. She has the weirdest A3 I've seen. Are you done? Like, that is just weird. She's, that's just, I don't know, this one just looks weird to me. That is the weirdest one out of the lot. Her A3 skin is definitely better than her A1. You're looking ready. You're looking ready. That's Asuka and her thing. Yanuno clearly, uh, they went for the underboob there quite clearly, trying to sell that. They went for the proper cute factor with Brevi. I don't actually like any of her ones. Each swing of the blade carries justice and echoes the wielder's heart. Ling Han looks cool. I think her A3 is by far one of the best. Yes. And the less I have to say about this, the better, right? I, d I really don't need to explain why this one is. I really don't need to explain this, right, chat? I literally don't need to explain this, right? I can sense a looming threat. So we've got this one over here. I can sense a and this is why she's called Boo Bilia. Uh, again, I don't really need to explain that. I can sense a looming threat. Uh, this one is alright, but it's got spiders and I'm arachnophobic, so she can piss off. And that's it. The others are underage, so I'm not even going to go there. Why are you looking at me? Is is there something on my face? No woman would go dressed like that to battle, getting cold and stuff. I remember when you go out in London. Hey, look, the way it works in video games. The less you're wearing, the better your armor is. <laughs> if you walk around in a clad iron suit, yeah, you're pretty much getting taken out in one hit. There's no good, there's no saving you with that one. But I'm almost at my 1250, so that's kind of nice. Oh, is it time for some trouble? <laughs> and uh when does this unlock i guess we'll find out soon enough but if you haven't done the story for this definitely do it it's a lot of fun it's really good and they fixed it now too so there's that as well do i have anything else oh i know what i haven't done i'll do that and then call it a day there's one thing i haven't done So we accidentally did our dreams as well, which I wasn't trying. Bikini Ling Han is the most. Yeah, if you go into inners underwater and swim with anything that's like a veil or like a see-through thing, it becomes completely transparent. Pro tip. Hey, Danaid, it's trying to get that sex appeal going, isn't it? Clearly, that's what they think all the girls want, to see a belly button, a guy's belly button. What they want to see is my belly. My belly. There is no six-pack, no 12-pack. There is just a one-pack. <laughs> can I teleport? <laughs> oh, I can. Good. But yeah, the male costumes are just weird. 
it's it is, man. We're just we're just we're, you know, there is a world out there where they appreciate one packs. I mean, there's a six pack of beer probably contained in there, yeah, somewhere. So chat, I have a question for you. So as you know, my other channel is called uh, The Chaos Lounge. I'm thinking of unifying the names, like on my Twitch, it's under Chaos Gaming. And so I think I'm trying to like, at the moment I've got three channels. My Twitch one, which I'm still not sure what I'm doing with but I am streaming here with it um, and I've got my two channels here the one that I'm used playing tough on and then the other one that's more podcasty and news stuff now that one is called the chaos lounge this one's called chaos prime zyt I'm thinking of unifying them by calling this like nothing's set in stone because I do like the name zyt um, but I'm thinking of unifying them by calling this one Chaos Gaming. And so it kind of, they sit together. So this one will be more games focused. This one will be more news focused. What do you think? What is this? So I was thinking of doing that and then you've kind of got like the lounge where I'm sitting down talking to people and having podcasts like I'm going to have in next, well I'm going to do like a talk show tomorrow where we talk about some of the news that's been going on all week and next week Tuesday, the following week Tuesday well next week Tuesday I guess now uh, I'm getting like a, someone on uh, the show to just chat about the ongoings whereas this side is more just like gaming have like a uh, stuff for like Elden Ring uh, Helldivers and just things like that uh, so there's two things that's uh, hey UK Sam there's two things. Number one, the YouTube algorithm is a pain in the ass. And it doesn't like different things. So generally having stuff that's dedicated to one type of content is always going to be better. Because then it reaches out and gives that content to those people. Like for example, uh, I my last two videos have got roughly about what five six thousand views a piece I don't know what my latest one that I uploaded today got but I made a Steam Deck uh, ports review to show how the game you know the best settings for um, Horizon Forbidden West on the Steam Deck and that only got like 250 views because it's not what my audience there wants to see
So it's all about battling with the algorithm and trying to think. Having everything under one roof would probably be easier. But if I push everything onto that channel, then I really don't know what to do with this one. And I still like hanging out with you lot and doing streams here. And I don't really want to throw this channel away. It is my first channel. It's had a lot of uh, games that decided that they didn't want to continue, like Anthem, uh, Outriders. Destiny never really uh, fit in with me. I did see some success there, and I probably would have had success if I continued. But God, that game became such a bad game. I can't be bothered with it. And I can't cover a game that I just don't like. It's why I don't cover games like, uh, you know, Genshin or Honkai Star Rail. I don't mind playing them every so often, but I don't enjoy covering them. I really enjoyed covering this game until they made it so the only way you can actually cover this game is if you play CN, and I don't have the time. Uh, between my 9-to-5 job, six, uh, 5 kids, and you know, family, and then YouTube, and then streaming, I just can't, I, you know, I can't do it. There's not enough of me to go around for, to be able to play two versions of this game. And my OCD would mean that on CN, I would need 100% on everything. I would. If you look at uh, my CN account, if I ever load up my CN account right now, um, you'll see that like in two areas, I've almost got 100%. Because my OCD just won't let me do it without 100%. I, if, if I see it's not 100%, I go I go crazy. I have to have it 100%. For games that I really like and I really enjoy, I want to cover everything. And, you know, back when I was playing Genshin, up until Sumeru, I did everything 100%. All the maps, everything. I had 100% completion everywhere. All the side quests, all the... Um, Secrets, everything. Everything was done. And then I kind of got bored before Sumeru came out. But I've never really enjoyed making content for that game, so that's why I never really got into it. I don't mind streaming it. Because I do enjoy the story, but making content is something else. So yeah. But yeah. Chaos Prime Z Lounge could work. But um, I think what I would do if I was going to call it the Chaos, uh, Chaos Gaming, underneath have still my old name. I was way motivated to 100% it until I got to Sumeru. And then I got bored. I got bored. Real, real quick. But if you see the name change, at least you know why, where it's changing and why it's changing. And you may see other content here, but I'm still going to be uh, here on Mondays. So that's not changing for the foreseeable future. 4.0 is coming and I'm very excited for that. And I'm very excited to, you know, for the game. The good news is, I don't know if any of you have actually realized this, but I will show you, because maybe you haven't, and this is going to be news to you. So, let me do this before, as my final thing. Asuka, where's her, uh, has 18 days, right? 
in four days, or is it three days, or is it two days? Two days now, because she comes out on the 28th. In two days, Ray comes out. It's two days for us, three days for you. The gap between Global and CN has gone from three months to 20 days. In terms of content difference, the gap between them has gone from three months and now it's dwindled down to 20 days. So maybe they are trying to uh, get Global and CN together because that is the only way this game is truly going to succeed. You can't have the disjointed content. It doesn't work that way. Um, no game that has, you know, CN being ahead and then Global coming after, none of them have succeeded. Look at Punishing Grey Raven or whatever you want. None of them are successful. The ones that are truly successful, like the Nikkeis, like the Genshin, like the Honkais, like uh, some of the other big ones out there, are because they released globally at the same time, regardless of where you were at. Everyone gets that content at the same time. Everyone is excited for that leak at the same time. Everyone is excited for that news at the same time. By the time it comes to global, that news is old. You know, if you cover it, if you cover CN, you'll be really, really well looked after. But if you don't cover CN and the CN news, by the time stuff comes to global, it's just too old. I think 4.0 is going to be when there's a good chance that they can come together. Uh, Classic is already available in CN, and that's going to be here as well. That's going to be a completely different version to this game. Um, you can't transfer none of your stats from this game to that one. If you start on Classic, you start from level 1 with absolutely nothing. Anything you've purchased on the global server will not transfer over to that server. By the way, this is why I was saying I was interested in pulling. Because there's a good chance within the next 16 pulls, I can actually get Asuka. But her matrix... God damn. 20% flame attack. Increase all elemental damage by 22%. That is good. I don't even care for the rest of the stuff. That there is good. Yeah, nothing transfers over. It's not designed for you and me. Uh, it's designed for basically new players to come in who find this version of the game too complicated. So they've removed like Origins of War, uh, Void Abyss... They've removed um, Titan Gear. I think they've removed Wormhole. So they've removed anything that basically people reported back saying it's too complicated, it's too difficult. They've dumbed it all down to a T. Even the way you upgrade your gear has changed. Certain classes like uh, Tian Lang. Tian Lang now is a tank. He's no longer a DPS, for example. They've changed him completely. So there's a lot of changes that have happened in that one. Um, I'm openly saying now that I will not be playing it. Even if this version was to end of service, which it's not. I can tell you that it's not. Like I can very, very comfortably tell you that it's not. Um... And that's just not me coping. Like, I'm I'm 100% certain on this. It's not. So don't worry about that. Um, I'm not going to Classic. Global is fine for me. Um, this is where I've started. This is where I've invested. 
there's some things I don't agree with, and I wish, you know, like the Titan gear could disappear. I think it's a horrible system, and it doesn't need to exist. Titan doesn't need to exist. If they removed it today, I'd probably be really, really happy. Titan is just horrible. I know Wales will get pissed off because they invested a lot of money. You know what? At the end of the day, just give them their fucking money back. Whatever. It's just such a shit system. It's worth taking the hit to keep people happy and playing your game. Uh, if they're gone, then they don't get the Dark Crystals from them, yes. They will lose out. But then those game modes don't exist, right? So they can't have the... They're not going to get it. But there'll be slight changes to their shops as well. Maybe s stuff that are slightly different priced. But also, like, from the way I understand it, the biggest issue that I see there is... Well, the biggest benefit is the balancing. Uh, Master Yu's coming out uh, for Flame, right? If Master Yu comes out and she is completely broken to the point where, you know, she's just one-shots everything. Everything. She completely power creeps everything. Even after you've purchased it, by signing up to Classic, you waiver the right for them to nerf that character to the ground to balance her to make her you know consistent with uh other the rest of the characters they it's in the terms of service you literally agree that they can nerf your your purchased characters so they are taking balancing on uh classic very very seriously it also means that you don't need an a6 to be able to uh be competitive. Mommy, <laughs> you need to chill. Uh, she, 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 she's thick, right? That's why she's uh, one-shotting everything. Uh, let me see what you're saying here. There is an area in Domain 9 that I can't explore because of cold. How to avoid it? Um... You need to do the story. As you're doing the story, you'll unlock uh, flame pits. So these... These flame pits are what you need. What well, As you're playing through, uh, you gain resistance by upgrading your statues and... Yeah. So you gain resistance as you go through the story, but these flame pits are important. Like even for me now, if I'm out in the cold too long, I will die. But it takes a lot longer. But once you've upgraded the statues, you'll do fine. Uh, <laughs> no worries, but it's, it's, there's a lot for you to cover considering you've been out for so long. But uh, we don't know how it's going to work, um, Brick, so don't forget, on Global you need to pull for A1, right? Anytime, Fotis. For Global you need to pull A1 to be remotely relevant. Almost every character, barring a couple, needs you to pull A1. On Classic, you don't need to pull A1. On Classic, A0 is enough. For example, Saki's uh, main skill is now locked behind A0. You don't need an A1 to activate it. If what I, if I have understood correctly. That would be cool, UK son. But yeah, so that's where I'm at. Um, I know I haven't made content for this game in a long, long time. 
I mean, a number of you keep reaching out to me asking me why. Uh, and the honest truth is, there's two things. One, I keep getting told off for reporting on leaks. And number two, reporting only on CN just isn't fun. Reporting on content that's going to come out three months time isn't entertaining. But now that the gap is closing, maybe that will change. Maybe that will change and I'll start actually making more content for this game. I appreciate that, UK son. Or maybe I'll just leave the content creators program and just go solo and upload anything I want at that point. Without the hassle of the program. I'm not sure. But like, I made a video of my reaction to 3.8. Because that hit hard. That hit me quite hard. That that was a... That trailer was... That, that trailer was bad. That, that, that hit me right in the feels. So I need to upload that at some point. But like, my 4.0 videos have been up for two months now since they got revealed and global's gonna release them soon and you're like well by the time they've come to global it's so late <laughs> no one cares and no one cares about my reaction or anything because it's been there done that yeah so the plan right now is a kind of restructuring rebranding of the channel so it can uh kind of sit alongside my other channel and once i've got that set up then i'll look into getting back on the bandwagon of releasing more content on Terra fancy as well as other stuff i'm also moving soon hopefully <laughs> Because uh, we are being, uh, the landlord wants to sell the property. So whenever that happens, I'm going to be offline for a number of weeks. I will let you all know through the community channel. So if you're not uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do. Or follow me on Twitter or join my Discord, something. Otherwise, you're just not going to be notified when I am going offline. I'm going to try and release like a quick uh, video to say. But depending on how quick everything's happening and how busy I am, I might not get the chance. So maybe I'll record it pre preemptively and just leave it there, ready. And then I can just upload it when it's ready. Probably a better idea. But that's going to happen over the next, anywhere between two weeks to six months, uh, two weeks to three months. So I do keep that in mind. But that's it, folks. That's pretty much it. That's it is rather late. It's coming up to 2 a.m. and I've got to be up at 8 a.m. Because uh, Final Fantasy XIV is releasing the DLC pre-orders and I need to buy the Collector's Edition. If any of you like Final Fantasy XIV, I salute you. And if you don't, happy days. But that is going to be it for me for tonight. Thanks so much for hanging out. And I will see you next time. <laughs> Don't remind you. Mate, I'm trying to get through the whole... Uh, I just finished 6.3 yesterday. I need to finish 6.4 and 6.5. Need to win the lottery so I can quit. <laughs> but thanks a lot for hanging out tonight, folks. I will see you... Uh, I'll be back again next week, Saturday. I mean, Monday, sorry. Not Saturday. Monday. Um, if I've got time on the weekends, I'd like to sometimes stream. So if there's anything to do in the game, I will jump on. If not, it will be again Monday. But I'll try and uh, get some more videos out. Since uh, you guys are missing it. All right. That's it. Peace out. And as always, remain legend. Have a good one. Good night.